bracket. It's so cursed. The first fight is Meliodas versus Ichigo. And then it's Goku versus Deku. And then Asta versus Yuji. Luffy versus Eren. Saitama versus Mob. Tanjiro versus Kirito, which might actually be a really good fight. And then Gon versus Naruto. So let's just get right into it. This is so screwed. <laughs> Poor Deku. Rest in peace. All right. Let's get right into it. First up, Meliodas all forms. Versus Ichigo all forms. Now let's just get right into the let's get right into the tournament. In this tournament, it's a high stakes two round battle. Ichigo starts off with a nice little get to attend show. Goes right into a nice little combo from Meliodas. A little three hit from Ichigo. Ichigo activates his spiritual pressure, knocks Meliodas down to about 75% HP. Easy with the Geshu Watan show. He's blocking everything Meliodas is coming for. Meliodas is not looking very good. He's got him in the corner. Meliodas tries to full counter. Of course, Ichigo, the absolute legend, dodges it. Oh, he activates. He activates his sacred treasure, but it misses completely. And, and of course, just like in Bleach, Ichigo is spamming Geshu Watan shows all the way throughout the battle to the point where he it has him in the corner he melios does hit a full counter but meliotis does look like he is not going to win this round but i could be wrong oh he gets elizabeth to heal him back up to about 25 percent hp but he still cannot find his way out of the corner ichigo says i'm tired of you running away from me he goes directly into freaking final bankai well what's the actual name of this form can't remember the actual name of this form um, but he goes in, he goes into a Bankai form. If I remember, it's, uh, full bring, full bring Bankai form. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. And manages to hit him with a nice little spiritual pressure release. Now, I know I didn't mention it, but Meliodas was put in some work. Meliodas went to assault form and he gets hit with a black blood to get to a 10 show and eventually leads to his demise. By the way, I will move the webcam before the next fight i forgot boom full counter starts off with a nice full counter from meliotis can meliotis prevail this time he looks a lot better than the last time he actually hit him with a couple of full counters he manages to block meli uh he manages, manages to block ichigo's full entire spiritual pressure drop and of course meliotis with a nice little counter into his uh, sacred treasure drop ichigo feeling pressured goes directly into bankai this one's just a generic Bankai, Tetsuwa, Tetsuwa, or no, Tessa Zangetsu. Don't know why I'm saying uh, Getsuwa. And Ichigo looking like, looking like prime version of him versus Byakuya is put in some work. Meliodas releases his sacred treasure and, and, and that just puts in some serious hurt onto Ichigo. Ichigo once again releasing his Bankai. Looking like it's going to be a little bit too much for Meliodas. Meliodas with a nice little comeback. Another gets to attend show. Meliodas healing up to over half HP. Calling on his boo thing, Elizabeth. It does not look like Ichigo has a chance. Now, I will tell you guys, Ichigo has a lot of forms. And there's specifically one that is an insta-kill. If he does use it, that is the only way I see him winning this. He spams gets to attend shows in his hollow mask form. In which, in which he knocks Meliodas right back to where he started at when he uh, healed by Elizabeth. Meliodas releases his sacred treasure, and it does look like that is going to be the W for Meliodas. Now it is a 1-1 one -one round. It could go either way. My money is on right now. I could see it going Ichigo or Meliodas. It really depends on which one of them transform more because they both kind of suck in their base form. However, Ichigo does have Meliodas locked up in the corner. Boxing him in like a fish. Now Meliodas takes that, takes that corner to his advantage. Is knocking Ichigo on the walls. He releases the sacred treasure, knocking him below half HP. This looks like an absolute curb stomping from our boy Meliodas. For which Meliodas tries to counter or tries to go in. But Ichigo counters it directly with the spiritual pressure drop. He's charging up. 
Meliodas tries to full counter. I don't know how he didn't get full counter there, but he did not. Meliodas putting him in a nice little punch-punch combo. Easily bouncing him off the wall. Nice little combo. Gets to a 10 show, saves Ichigo from utter demise here. And it does look like Meliodas is going to get him into another combo. Bouncing him off the wall, but he wasn't able to finish it this time. Ichigo is on a sliver of HP. He's going to get to a 10 show, spam Meliodas down. Just like the show, <laughs> another gets him a 10 show, and it does look like Meliodas is able to pull it out. Meliodas is the victor. I'm not sure. You're going to have to give me one second. I don't remember how to tell. Hold on. Give me one second. I got to make an account. I'm just gonna make a Discord account. I'm just gonna connect it to my Discord. Um, I gotta make a Discord uh, account to. I gotta connect my account to be able to change the bracket. Give me one second. Oh shoot. Give me one second. No, oh, it's literally today. Give me one second. How do I move? It's literally today. Start the tournament. Report scores. Meliodas with two and Ichigo with one. The winner is Meli freaking Otis. Saving. Sorry about that, guys. I, I, I couldn't remember how to do that. So, next up on the chopping block is Goku versus Deku. I'm so sorry, Deku. I'm so sorry. I really am. All right, we're just going regular Goku. Versus Deku. If Deku somehow pulls this out of his ass, this would be the greatest content ever. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forgot to move the webcam. Give me one second. I gotta remember which one I have like oh wait I got rid of all them okay that should be good I will have to check when we get into the actual match and I'm not blocking anything too important I don't think I am oh I'm blocking a tad bit of Deku's health bar hold on Deku don't do anything crazy be a little, make myself a little smaller. Alright, hold on. Let me restart this. Corners. That was sick! I should have restarted it. My bad, my bad, my bad. It didn't take the wins and losses off. Okay. Alright. Let's just get right into this. Crucifix. All right, we have our main man, Deku from My Hero Academia, getting his season six. And then we have the absolute legend himself, the legend of all anime, Goku, in a battle to the death. Winner of this battle moves on to fight the winner of the next fight. Deku's actually doing decent damage. Nice little, uh, not Delaware Smash, but nice little combo set up by Deku. Goku hitting him with a nice little Meteor Smash little hammer and a little key blast because you know goku's a spammer deku is doing damage i'm rooting for my boy deku here i do want to see deku win this but i don't think he will however if goku doesn't transform he definitely oh my god goku went straight into god form deku is fighting a literal god he's putting in the hands he's putting in the work deku tried to detroit smash him 
But of course, Goku, being the light speed traveler he is, managed to see it. Oklahoma smash on a Goku's forehead. Deku hitting, getting hit with a couple key blasts. He finger, th uh, I forget the name of that move. He he, <laughs> he he just does a regular smash on a Goku's forehead. Goku wins in, goes into blue form. He's got him boxed in the corner. He's boxing him up. Deku! Deku wins round one! Deku wins round one! Deku! Deku wins round one! Are we about to see an upset? Uh, an upset? The 12th seed Deku versus the 4th seed Goku? I have I just cannot believe my eyes. Deku going in a nice little Delaware smash. He's charging up. Now, I will say this, Deku can go into full cowling 100%. He's based off of the movie one. Goku's also charging up, knocks him back to the wall, instant transmission. I haven't seen a Kamehameha yet. Deku is going full cowling 100%. He is not playing around. He is bouncing all over the screen. Goku's got to do something crazy. He's got Goku in Super Saiyan Blue on his he heels. Goku puts a, a nice little counter attack together. They're about at the same HP. Nice little instant transmission dodge it, counter attack. Goku Blue is fighting Deku full cowling. A nice little smash. He's got him boxed in the corner. Keep him in the corner, Deku. Keep him in the corner, Deku. What are you doing? Deku, no, Deku, no. Deku, no. Get him back in the corner. Deku's charging. He's got full power. Release your ultimate. Release your ultimate. Goku's got him back in the corner. It does look like Goku might actually take round two. He's releasing. He misses. Manchester smash. Delaware smash. It's a slither. He does it. Oh my god. What? Oh. What? What? What's that? Why can Deku he or why can Goku heal when he goes into UI? He try he starts off the battle with a, with his with the Delaware Smash goes into a St. Louis, but of course the St. Louis gets blocked by our great boy UI Goku. UI Goku is putting in nice work. He's dodging everything Goku wants to throw out at him. He keeps him in the corner. Deku with a nice little counter punch. He tries the Delaware Smash from the moon. Somehow hits him. Goku is not playing around. Throws out two counters back to back. Leading into a nice little hit. He counters the the St. Louis smash into a nice little combo from Deku. And it looks like Goku is not playing around anymore. He's throwing him into, into a meteor crash into a hammer down. And it does look like Goku is no longer playing around with the young buck, Deku. Now, that was the craziest fight of all time. I don't even know how Deku took one. <laughs> Deku took one. He didn't go out winless, baby. He did not go out winless. Let me go ahead and uh, edit the scores. Two for my boy Goku. And one for my boy Ge Deku. I don't know why I keep calling him Geku. Gonna be honest. I feel like I'm, I'm being a little bit mean. Next up. We have a battle of two of one of the two of the greatest new gen animes of all time. And that being Asta versus my main man himself. You e Itadori Yuji. Now, who am I rooting for on this one? Personally speaking, I wanna see Asta v versus Goku. But that's my own biased opinion. Because I really do not feel like Itadori really realistically has a chance. Because Itadori's moveset is a little whack. But so is Asa. But Asa does a lot of damage. So Asa starts off the fight having him back, backed up into the corner. Itadori does not even look like he's going to be able to hold. Uh, to, uh, to, put up a, uh, to put up an actual fight. He does manage to get a nice little grab off. Which does a decent bit of damage. Asa spamming once again. Boxes him into the corner. Itadori is getting mixed. He throws a little knife. 
I have no idea what Asa was doing there. I'm pretty certain that's a counter, but I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him land that counter, not one time. Um, Asa is straight up murdering Itadori right now. Itadori with a nice little headbutt grab. He will do this at least 50 times if you give him the chance. Itadori charging up. Will we see him release his inner mans? Or will his inner mans come out to save Itadori from utter embarrassment? He hits him with a nice another grab. He does! Our man Sukuna popped directly out of Itadori. Now it's demon versus demon. <laughs> Sukuna is manhandling Asta. Sukuna has not even been hit by Asta yet. And he proceeds to make one of the great will he make one of the greatest comebacks of all time? It does look like he will. But right now, Asta manages to land. The spam attack, which I don't know the name of off the top of my head. It really does put Sukuna out of his misery. Sukuna does put up somewhat of a fight. Now they're having charge warfare. I wouldn't really charge with this man, because this man can do some crazy stuff. He goes directly into his old black flash, which is gonna do a decent amount of damage. It's not gonna do a lot. Um I could be wrong though, because it's a triple click fla uh, black flash. Oh no, it was only this it was only the single kick black flash because he didn't use all three bars. Um he counters that and then also goes straight into demon form countering his grab. Which by the way, Asta this Asta does not transform very often. Um so seeing Asta transform means that he desperately does not want to lose this battle. He does not want to go down. He wants to make sure that at least one of the members of the new gen family move on to the next round, which, to be honest, either of them would move on. That move does a lot of damage. Holy. <laughs> Look, he's copying his father, Ichigo, with, the, with those Getsu at 10 shows, but obviously, Itadori still has his 57 grabs. Like I said, Itadori still has his 57 grabs. If I'm going to be honest, Itadori is like, one of, is like watching paint dry. He basically grabs over and over again. He tries a black flash counter. He actually manages to hit it. However, Asa had a countermeasure, um, throwing the Demon Dweller mana at him. Once again, doing the same in sort of a Getsu Atensho fashion. He's spamming just like his father. His father would be so proud of him. Next up, he's got Itadori in the corner. Itadori might need to recall on Sukuna, but I don't think he has enough chakra or cursed energy. He grabs him again. Asa's at three bars of key. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see an ult from our man Asa? He brings out Sukuna. If Sukuna hits him at all, he's dead here. Um, he manages to unleash his counter. He blocked that attack, and then Sukuna finishes it off. Now it's a one-one. It is a one-one game. This one, I wasn't expecting it to be that close because this Asa does a decent amount of damage. He brings out the whole squad! Finril! Freaking, what is her name? Vanessa? <laughs> I genuinely forgot her name! But they brought out the whole squad, and I did see, um... Healer Lady. I can't remember her name either. Mosa. In the cut, but we don't really mention that. Next up. Once again, they're back in they're back in this corner. Both of them seem to really, really enjoy being in the corner, and I don't understand why. It's like they they like to be put in timeout, but oh well. Rasha goes straight to demon form. He he released his freaking bonkai. Uh, no, I'm trolling, but he he released his freaking um, demon dweller mana. Goes straight into demon form, thus making a demon dweller mana. But uh, it's a very interesting play from our boy Asta. Asta just gets hit with so many grabs. Each Dory tries to throw the blade at him, but doesn't land. Of course, you know, Asta, the spammer, he goes in and tries to hit him with a couple more attacks. Each Dory does lead into another grab. To be honest, ref should have been called this fight because each Dory is, you know, spamming his grabs, but we don't really want to talk about that. And once again, each Dory hits Asta with another grab. It does look like we might end up having grab warfare here. He might end up ending the fight with a grab, but oh well. Um, Asa has a lot of moves that are kind of pointless, but he also has a lot of moves that do a lot of damage. If he keeps spamming that counter, he's not going to kill him. Meaning that he will let the demon defeat him. He does go straight into his ult. Oh my god. 
I've never seen Austin old and Austin manages to bag a 2-1 lead. 2-1 victory, and he is going to fight in his next round. He is going to fight Goku. Now, it doesn't seem like a very good, um... It doesn't seem like a very good, uh... The next matchup. However, I have hope. Next up is a very odd matchup, in my opinion. It is... Bucky D. Loopy. I can't remember which one's the right one. One of them sucks and the other one's decent. I'm going to go with this one with a hat down. Um, if that one ends up being the one that's not good, oh well. Versus Aaron. Aaron Yeager. Now, I have a hot take here. I don't really like um, Attack on Titan. So I'm 100% rooting for Luffy here. Um... But, oh my god, Aaron goes straight in the Titan form, not holding any blows. Also, as you can tell, Aaron does not take very much damage when he is in that form. He also deals a lot. He's boxing him, he threw the rock at him, but Luffy is dodging. He's just faster. Uh-oh, but Aaron's got him in a nice little mix. That does so much damage. Red Rock, he just has to stall. I don't think Luffy has the HP required. Aaron calls in, or Aaron call goes out of his Titan form. Can Luffy mix him long enough? It's it's elephant to Gatling gun comes out from Luffy. Luffy with a nice two, maybe close to two hundred hit combo, which is insane. He goes full body hockey mode, which I feel like I should be offended looking at this, but I'm really not. He goes into another Elephant Gatling Gun, where, whereas Aaron goes back into Titan form. It's Titan form versus their Elephant Gatling Gun. Elephant Gatling Gun does look like it's putting it in the work. It would be really hilarious if he went in gear fourth or anything like that, but it does not look like it. He does get mixed by Aaron. Aaron takes round one. He goes straight in a Titan form again. Thus leading Luffy to start off at a disadvantage. Luffy just has to survive at above half HP, but it does not look like he's going to be able to. Aaron is mixing him in the corner. Aaron is mixing him in the corner. Luffy is not standing a chance. This is your goat? Oh my goodness. Aaron just wiped the dog with Luffy. I'm gonna be honest, I think that's the Luffy that sucks, but um, oh well. <laughs> if we ever do another one, I'll use the other one, see which one's better. Uh, I do apologize, Luffy. Wait. Hold on. I accidentally gave the win to Luffy. Aaron is the winner. Next up on our board is a matchup between two very, very broken MCs. And that is our main man. Our main man, I'm going to pick this Saitama because it looks better. Our main man, Saitama versus Mob. Now, personally speaking, in terms of overpoweredness, I definitely think Saitama has the edge. But in this game, only time will tell. All right, Mob starts off with a nice little a nice little attack. Saitama goes in for the punch. He misses. Well, he hit him somehow. And they're fighting in freaking Naruto's freaking place. This is insane. And they both have a little charge warfare. Mob is going sicko mode. He went directly into his almost final form. And Saitama does look like he is not putting in any work. His punches do hurt. But they're definitely not living up to the name of one punch. Oh my god! Itachi! <laughs> wow! That punch really did a lot of damage to Mob. I do not know how Mob will recover. Mob, um... I don't understand why you're letting this man charge. Uh-oh, he's going into 100%. He just missed. He went into another 100% and he also missed. Um, they're charging. Saitama is stuck in an endless charge mode. Is he just like overly depressed? Did Get Ghettos die? He punches Mob directly into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually have our top favorite to win this game. Sai freaking Tama is putting in some serious damage. He is basically two hitting Mob right here. Mob 
has to stop him from attacking. Mob has to go on to the offensive and make it to where Saitama cannot attack. He cannot let Saitama charge because if Saitama charges, he will serious punch. Why did he stop the punch? He will serious punch him into the wall. He's just throwing punches. And it does not look like Mob will be able to stand a chance. Our first 2 0. Wait, no. Sorry. Our second 2 0, as Luffy and Aaron were also a 2 0. However, on the bracket, it's going to say 2 1 because I actually gave Luffy a round. That was the most anticlimactic fight I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Saitama just literally destroyed Mob. Next up, we have a battle of swordsmen. Two swords versus one sword. Our main man, our main man, Tanjiro. Which I believe this is the right one. Tanjiro versus dual sword Kirito. Kirito. Let us get ourselves into it. They are both starting off with a nice little sword combo. For some reason, Kirito has the ability to freeze, and I don't remember him ever doing that in the game. He also has a lot of counters. Um, he's kind of like Meliodas, but on steroids. Nice little headbutt from Tanjiro. Tanjiro better put in some work, or he's just going to be mixed up. Kirito is comboing literal, literal air. Um, I'm not sure what he is doing, but he has Tanjiro in the corner. And, you know, Kirito is a gamer. He knows, he knows the tricks of the trade. He knows to keep him in that corner. Because once you're in the corner in a fighting game, it's basically GG. But somehow Kirito manages to get him out of the corner. It does look like this is going to be a brutal massacre from Kirito. Kirito mixes him completely and totally to shreds. Tanjiro did not stand a chance. Looks like the bottom of the bracket was the bra part of the bracket we were missing in terms of in terms of OPness. All the rest of the guys at the top were, you know, very, very valid fights and very, very even fights. But these battles look like straight massacres, man. Tanjiro has not even thrown an attack yet. Kirito is just out for blood. He wants to move on to the next round. He wants to prove that his Sekai animes are decent. And it does look like Kirito might actually get our first perfect on the channel. Kirito does it. He destroys Tanjiro, getting a perfect in the second round. That is actually very depressing. I thought Tanjiro would actually put up a fight. Tanjiro didn't put up a singular fight. Now, next up, we have the, uh, ironically, we have Andrew's favorite, 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 one of Andrew's favorite um, anime's MCs versus my favorite anime's MCs. We got Gon versus Naruto Uzuma. Now, of course, I got a root for my main man, Naruto. However, I have done a lot of games with this. To be honest, every single Naruto sucks except for a couple of tailed beast forms. So if Naruto transforms early, he has a chance to win this. However, Gon can go into a doll form, and a doll form Gon is absolutely, utterly terrifying. Naruto with a nice little shadow clone assault into a giant Rasengan. He also throws out another Rasengan, but it does look, oh no, sorry. Summoning Jutsu, sexy Jutsu onto Gon, which I genuinely feel like would actually work on him. I'm gonna be honest. Uh. <laughs> Gon does not look like he's even really putting up a fight. He does a nice little rock, paper, scissors, rock. Pushes Naruto back to the wall. Nice little combo from our boy Gon. Let's see some Nin action. Sexy Jutsu fails to connect. Naruto is backed up into the corner. Throws a couple of shuriken at the ground. Throws a paper bomb at, at his face. Gon lifts up the rock. Of course, he sexy Jutsus and charges. What a meta game strat from our boy Naruto. A nice little nin, a nin attack into another, another Shadow Clone Jutsu assault into a giant Rasengan. Naruto tries to save himself with the Shadow Clone. He leads into a Rasengan, which gets countered by Gon, and thus, uh, then uh, thus ends up 
into another Brawl Fest with Naruto and Gon at about the same HP. Of course, Naruto can transform, but he hasn't, and so can Gon. They're both going into a char uh, charging uh, phase. Gon, ch uh, Gon is going into a doll form! Naruto is in trouble! It does look like Gon is actually going to take round one. Gon took round one. He ulted and went into adult form and took Naruto out. Now, will Naruto wake up in a vengeance and immediately transform? Does not look like it. It does look like it's just going to go into a shadow clone assault, which fails to connect. He does save himself from a potential Gon combo with that, with that sexy jutsu, but he does lead into a Rasengan. And that Rasengan does a nice chunk of damage. Next up, he does Sexy Jutsu once again. He doesn't seem to want to mix off of the Sexy Jutsu, which would be my go-to strategy. However, Gon, he, he substitutes Jutsus himself out of the corner. But it does look like Gon it just does a tad bit more damage. He tries Rasengan right in front of him. That wasn't a very smart idea. Another Sexy Jutsu coming out from... Our main man, Naruto. Naruto tries to mix, but drops the combo. Tries to do another sexy jutsu, but fails. He do uh, he he should have dodged that. A nice little shadow, shadow clone jutsu assault from the top. He definitely does not seem to want to transform against Gon. I, I'm guessing he just wants to give it to him. Give it to his elder, but... Oh, well. Gon does look out for blood. Straight ruthless. But nice Naruto combo in the corner. <laughs> he try he substitutes Jutsu. It's my favorite counter in the entire game. It's so cheesy, not gonna lie. But Naruto tries to headbutt him twice, throws a paper bomb at his forehead. Naruto charging up his chakra, substitution Jutsus. Throws the big demon wind shuriken. Um, Naruto is not looking in prime peak fictional form. But it does look like it does look like he might actually stand a chance. If he can pull out this round, he might be able to take round two, but a round three, but I doubt it. It does look like Gon is gonna take this round as of right now, but he, Naruto's putting in a nice little mix work. He punches him back into the wall, throwing a demon wind shuriken a little bit too low. Gon setting up his nice little combo of his own. He only manages to land one hit. Substitution jutsu. He throws another paper bomb. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've seen Naruto throw more kunai in his entire freaking career than this bat than this one battle. Gon is charging up his nin. This could be bad news for Naruto. Naruto is only on a sliver of HP. He cannot do anything, but he has to be very, very careful. He cannot be hit at all anymore. It does look like Gon is actually gonna take take this round 2-0. Every single part of the bottom three fights have been a 2-0 interesting it does look like our man naruto does have to fall let me show you guys the bracket so you guys know i was being very generous here this is the fights we have next being natsu versus meliotis goku versus asta Eren versus saitama and kirito versus gong